Hello and good morning, day, evening, or good night, depending on which it is for you. Welcome back to Subnautica. We have fortunately managed to load back on the island in which I had last <laughs> left off at. So this is wonderful news. Now I've sat down and I've done some thinking about where to proceed next. I'm aware that I still need to travel. Eh. 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 For I have not explored there yet. But I finally have the components I need to make a base. And while my original thought was to make a base here, I think I've decided against that actually. I am more thinking that I should make a base in the water at a fairly deep depth so that when it comes time to start expanding and I'm able to actually go a little deeper, I'll already have a place established that's kind of at the in-between point where I can go down or I can go up as opposed to the one that I have that's just on the surface. So I want to find a place near this island that will serve as a wah! Fuck off. Home. A starting place. And then will come the fun part of moving all my shit from that little treasure trove I have into actual organized locations. And then I can pack rat and hoard as much as I want! I'm doomed. I'm absolutely doomed. I'm going to spend all my time just hoarding materials, and I will have no reason for any of it. I just want to grab some food. I'm not going to worry about water, because I have penis water. But I need food. Uh, cool. Around and around in circles I go, wandering on the islands, paths because I'm lost. I just want some food so I can move on. And once I can move on, then I can go do something fun. Welcome aboard, Captain. Backing up. We are back on our sea moth. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I should still have eh, that beacon, which I do. I should use that. First of all, let's tunnel down to our maximum depth and see if we can find anything useful directly below the island. Oh, I missed the land already. Slowing down. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, I mean, I remember there being a lot of resources inside. It's a lot of floating balls. Life is scarce. This is the area where life was scarce. We got a few swimmy fishies. I mean, I probably could establish a base around here somewhere, but right now it's uh, it's a pretty deep. So let's just keep an eye open. And the music isn't exactly reassuring for that either. 200 down seems like a pretty good depth. What are those? Is that more mercury? It must be more mercury. I don't have an inventory that can help me. Oh, this is a nice little area. Ooh, this is a nice little area. Ooh, this is a really nice area. Oh, I am sorry about that. I kinda like it here. Is there a unique resource? There's a, a fuck off. A fair chunk of food. Damn it all! There's a massive hole over here. There's a major growing in my ear. Typically that's from uh, one of those giant massive crazy things. Down at the bottom of these spikes and it's near, it's kind of, you know what, we're gonna do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found where we are gonna establish our first underwater base. There's a nice little flattening area over here and I can have a cliff behind me, and I have a way moving forward. It's fairly close to the island. It's not too far off where I started. 
I just need to find an ideal location. Are they hitting me? That's pretty ballsy of them. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. That'll work wonderfully. Cool. Exit. In the water. Tippy, 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 tippy. Nope. Yeah, yep. Beacon. Away. Are you still called Crash Bitch Beacon? Edit. Yeah, you are. So let's change you to base one. Base one beacon has been established. Let us go drop off our stuff and figure out what we need to build base one. I hope we have got ourselves a trek back to the surface. I am glad you guys are friendly. I still want to build a base on one of them though. That would be so much fun. Mmm, everything's just so much nicer up here close to the surface. Smells so much less like death. I do have some messages kicking around back at my pod that I'm going to have to check out. And then comes the tedious process of moving everything from point A to point B. This could be a, a very long episode for me. And a very not so long episode for you guys. Oh yeah, we're, we're back in the original spot. The ecosystem changes so much in different locations. I like how it's able to how you are able to distinct between where you are, where you've been, where you're coming from, where you're going, just based on simple environmental cues. Okay, so we did manage to find ourselves a new suit that increases our protection from damage, which right now I would prefer my pea suit. And I do have a stasis rifle. Which is good for combat type stuff, but I haven't had much of a need for that, so I need to put that on the reminder back burner. I wonder if light sticks would be useful. Cool. Let's check out our messages and see what is new and happening with the Pussycats. Oh, Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. Hi again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yeah, that would be us. I didn't know how bad, uh, how many of... I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six-seater. We aren't even slightly equipped to handle this. Our pilot last attempt at a planet landing in the Academy Simulator. Oh, it's a bad situation. But so are all the alternatives. Oh, I'm so very fucked still. Well, help is on the way, and I want to make a base. These two things do not match up with each other. Oh, well, um, I may as well plan for the worst, hope for the best. Habitat Builder. Multi-purpose room requires lots of titanium. Glass and titanium. Enameled glass. Glass. Titanium, 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 titanium. Yeah, no one's worried about that. So glass and titanium are the big ones. Uh, wiring kit and computer chip are going to be important, especially for that. But it seems I'm going to need a lot of glass, a lot of titanium. Wall locker. I think a wall locker would be helpful. Quartz and titanium. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I might have to make a trip to the Aurora so that I can pick up some metal salvage because I need all, all of the titanium. I need glass and titanium and in order to get glass I need quartz. So I may as well, because this is why I have it, salvage as much quartz as I can and then we will head back to the beacon. And sure enough, from the start of the game, Oxygen. where Brian was like, Titanium! <laughs> There's lots of that, I'm not gonna need it ever. We are finally at the point where it's like, haha, we can make a base with titanium! And guess what I don't have enough of? Because I am already out of titanium. Truck of a mother. Welcome aboard. 
aboard, Captain. All right, we got our materials we need. Mr. Beacon, Mr. Beacon. Away we go. It's time to go make a base. Whee! I am so excited to have storage space. You have no idea. I've had to hold off from going around and just hoarding and looting. I have to be careful though. Because once I have access to the ability to hoard and loot, I can already, ugh, ugh, black nothingness. I know the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is go out and just grab all these materials and fill rooms everywhere with stuff so that I will never have to go out and salvage again. However, in doing that, I'm gonna eliminate some of the pleasure that this game could bring. Ugh. Because if everything's done and I don't need to fight to get anything anymore and I don't have that desire, that drive, and everything's just provided for me, then I'm just, I'm not gonna appreciate it quite as much. So, this is gonna be a bit of a risk in terms of the fun levels that are in this game. But at the same time, I'm hoping it'll provide a reward. I mean, there's still so much stuff out there that I feel that I have not found yet. But here we are, we have made it back to our location. So where do we want to build? Let's, let's try to make it at least make some logical sense. Where is the flattest point around here where I can build? Probably like right in here. Right in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could also build foundations, but that takes titanium. Can I just make a multi-purpose room straight out of nothingness? Oh, it, it even kind of floats. And it has, <coughs> oh, excuse me, things on the bottom of it so I can put it wherever I want because it's gonna support itself. Multi-purpose room. That would be a horrible idea. Uh, elevation. Let's make it a little bit up higher. Whoop. Okay, okay. Room number uno. I can't remember how to make this thing go further away from me. There's a way to do it. Uh, uh. Oh well. Here we go. Ah, there we don't go. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. Oh, I'm waking out. I'm so excited, but I don't want to do it because I'm so excited. No, no more excuses. No more excuses. Doesn't even make sense. Give it to me. Give me that which I desire. When constructing larger habitats, may be printed separate work and leisure spaces in order to maximize productivity. Treat the space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Do I need to like pick this up so the legs will extend down? Well, that looks a little silly. Um, I need to get in there. I need a door, a hatch, if you will. 30 seconds. Ah! Ah! Seamoth! Where do I want to put the hatch? Can I put it on the top? Can I put it underneath? I kind of want to put it underneath. Let's see if it'll make me, let me have that aesthetic choice. The answer is no. No, it does not look like it. That is unfortunate. Looks like I have to build it on the one of the sides. Okay. We will just keep it simple and build it right here. Hatch. So. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. I'm in a base. My oxygen is still going down because I can't fucking breathe in here. Next thing we gotta do, power. Power, power's next. We have a base. It is doing a thing, but it needs power. Solar panels are good. Um, 30 seconds. Extends range of power source. Rotate mouse wheel. I wish I knew if that would help with what I currently have, cause, erg. Oh, hold its legs are there now. I mean, what does it take to- Ah! No! Give me that back! I am not good with these buttons today! Sun, 
Oh, actually. Sunlight. Sunlight. Sun bright. Are you the only sun that I'm gonna see today? Going up! Up, 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 up
that storage space. Ah, oh, everything can be put away now. Maybe, maybe. Hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm being picky. I'm gonna take the locker off there that I just built, and I'm going to move it to the center of the room. For this is going to be. Why are you? What? What are you? There we go. Excellent! I'm gonna put all my survival stuff in there so that when I come through it's just a straight line and whatever I need, be it med packs or food or whatever, it will all be here just waiting for me. And I guess for the time being, I should also store everything else that I can get a hold of because I don't have nearly enough titanium to do anything later. We need a fabricator. Let's find us a fabricator. Fabricator requires a wiring kit, a computer chip, and titanium. I'm an idiot. I need to fabricate a wiring kit and a computer chip, which means I need my old fabricator, which means I have to run all the way back to the other base. On the plus side, now that I have all that stuff stored here, I can start bringing it down in this way. So, truck of a mother! Welcome aboard, Captain. Base has started to been established, but I'm gonna have to start wasting batteries. Oh, this is frustrating. I Herpy Derp, hello, my name is Brian. I am smart today. Very smart indeed, much like a stick. Shut up. No one wants you. You're ugly. Let us head back to base. Alright. This is gonna be tedious. So I think I'm gonna call the episode here. We have started the production of a base. I'm gonna spend some time getting some materials and picking up all my stuff and moving it from my little trove of goodies into actual storage lockers. So this is gonna take me some time and I'll probably come back when I have something interesting. Until then though, guys, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Aura Gaming. Bye-bye! So here we are, locked in a cave in Subnautica on my little excursion to attempt to move all my stuff from base one to base two. As you can see, I'm having a bit of trouble. I have a great view from down here, just this great crevasse of nothingness, but I don't know, something doesn't feel right. Something about this whole area feels very wrong and familiar. Oxygen. Hmm. Diving down into the caves again. You know, I think I figured out what it is. These caves represent a great metaphor of my life. On the surface are calm, beautiful waters and a lovely sky, but just below that is this deep chasm of twists and turns, nooks and crannies, scary areas with some treasure in there. But in addition to that, death, death, lots of death too. Every corner you go around, death. Yay for death! Who doesn't love some death? Woohoo! And of course, throughout all of these, there's also those broken aspects. So even though the cave itself is its own network maze of darkness and despair, even that is not enough. But the whole existence of it has to be paradoxal in nature. Let's go with paradoxal, with fates and cracks and nooks that like this look like I should be able to get out right here. I'm saved, I'm saved. Oh wait, no I'm not. As your air slowly runs out and as you desperately try to escape the internal workings of nothingness. This game is gonna hate me for the next little while.